Hello everybody, so here is Black Angel again and I'm here with a kind of weird video again but this is um, about uh, a topic that I get asked about quite often. I can understand why from one perspective but on the other hand um, I don't think you people are ready for my answer. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to make a public video and share my view about this topic so that everybody knows what I think about this and the, the questions should stop this way. So this question that I keep being asked is if I support transgender and if I support homosexuals. I do not support anybody, basically. Uh, I support everybody and nobody. That's how I work. Um, my point is, I'm, I'm a life coach, I work as a life coach, and my goal as a life coach is to help people gain some sort of self-awareness uh, and develop their personality and develop who they are in the best possible way. So this is my personal goal. So now if you come to me and you are a lesbian or a transgender or uh, simply someone I don't know, from Pakistan, <laughs> anything you are, whoever you, whatever you identify with, I will never judge that thing. Why would I? And my point is this, here is the thing, why would I want to judge a person according to what they consider themselves to be from a gender point of view or according to what kind of sexuality they lead. I do not give a damn what people leave as sexually speaking or how they, 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 they define their body. I see a person, a person is a person and they are worth a bunch of things because of who they are. And no matter who you are or what type or whatever definition, whatever label you attach to yourself, you are a person to me, and that's already a reason to respect you. So please just quit asking me if I support this or if I support that, because that's not the way I work. I do not work by judgment. I'm not judging people that do ask me that, obviously, and I'm not judging people that judge me for whatever answer I give. That's not the point, because I, I simply do not work that way. I do not have the folder judgment and the, the it's a bug basically consider it like a computer bug uh, I, I, I wasn't inserted the um, uh, data for, for, for judging I, I like the data for judgment I, I cannot do that thing it, it's just not part of me as a person so what I'm telling you here is if you're transgender and you you need help for uh, developing your personality as a transgender woman or a man uh, and you, you need support in that sense because maybe you don't have a lot of people around yourself and you want to come to me, please come, you're welcome. I'm happy to help you through your transition or through whatever it is that you need to do to, to develop your personality. And I'm not going to judge you because I have no reason to. That's just who you are, and to me, you're going to be just a person. I think this is very important that people realize that whatever others choose to define themselves as is not going to change the fact that they're people. This is something that I give a lot of importance to, and it's kind of frustrating to keep walking around and name things with the name they have because they're called that way and get people insult you or harass you because you fucking judged that. I, I didn't fucking judge that. I called it by its name. It's just like Sheldon's image that goes around on the net that says, uh, I do not judge people. I simply describe them. If you don't like the description, it's not my freaking fault. That's just a description. That's what it is. You shouldn't harass, harass me because I say that <laughs> a homosexual guy is homosexual. I just said he's homosexual because he's homosexual and, homosexual and he identifies as homosexual. Now, if I shouldn't say that because nobody knows that and he hasn't come out yet 
and all kind of stuff, the ethical part, I can understand that, and I, I see your point, and obviously I'm not going to go around telling people so that, that, that I shouldn't be telling. But that's another topic. If I say that a car is a car, I didn't fucking insult the car because I said that it is a car. Do you get that? And that's, that's, a, that's a very big issue because a lot of introverted feeling types are persuaded that if you say that they are this type or that type, you're, you're judging them. That doesn't make any fucking sense. If I, if, I, if I call you your type, I'm just saying you're that kind of person. And I'm not saying that you're a shitty person or a good person or whatever kind of person. I don't give a damn about that. I don't freaking give, give a damn if you're a good or a bad person. That's not according to type. That's who you are. I know a lot of people that have a type that is a specific way and they, they're, they're not manipulators and then an, another bunch that are the same type and they're freaking fucking manipulators. What you do with your cognitive functions is not who you are or, or what your cognitive functions are. So your cognitive functions are not going to define you as a good person or a bad person. And anyway, if you want to be specific about that thing, about good and bad, and the way I take it, my way to view that kind of thing is that a bad person, someone that is a criminal, someone that killed someone, someone that uh, murdered a bunch of kids, can be good with their own, with their own kids. They can love animals, or they can, for example, I don't know, uh, secretly work for charity for the homeless. You don't know that. So that person is a murderer, that person is uh, someone not to trust. I can agree with that, because anyway, they did something that is quite extreme and that it is not normal. It's not very acceptable. There are there need there there have to be limits. There have to be limits. But that doesn't make that person a 360 degrees bad person. I know a lot of people that are manipulators, and I, I've just assisted to something that blew my mind because this girl is being manipulated by a stupid fuck that is ruining her life. And this is not something that has anything to do with the um, session. Obviously, it's someone that has to do with my personal life. And that, 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 that kind, that, that guy, that, that very guy there, I'm sorry, I'm just mind blown by this thing. That guy there is the same person that I defended a few months ago in, in a different context because he was right and he was being a victim. So three months ago, a victim, today a manipulator. There you go. And how, how are you going to define this guy? Bad? Good? He's just a person developing his skills in some whatever way and he's using them the way he considers fit. And there's nothing wrong with that. Until he doesn't do anything that is going to lead him to jail, in that case he's going to have trouble. And it's his problem, not mine. So see, that, that, that's why I, I, I got pissed off when I received messages and the, the go like, do you support homosexual? Why would I? I mean, I am obviously sad when I hear people being beaten up or uh, being mistreated just because they're weaker or because they have uh, chosen a way of life that others do not agree with or whatever the case may be, that makes me extremely sad. It, makes, it, it even makes me angry. But aside from that specific kind of thing, when it comes to gay pride or anything of that sort, no, you're never going to see me with a tag claiming, yeah, gay right, yay, but I'm not against it. It's just as a lifestyle or a life choice rather not a lifestyle but a life choice a life choice that is quite it, it, it's even forced I mean it's not like they have a choice about being that way or another way so that's who they are why would I go around with a with a tag campaigning uh, yay STVs or yay INFJs around the road it doesn't make any fucking sense as, as much as it doesn't make sense to to go down the road and save secretaries. 
that's the same thing. It's just an identity issue. That's how I live it. And it, it should be that way for everybody. And trust me, if everybody view, viewed things the way I do, there wouldn't be no need for to go around with tax. There would be nobody to defend and there would be nobody being beaten up or being mistreated or actually even harassed and treated very badly. There's people that have died because of who they were. Why? Why? Who the hell are you to have a say in another person's life? That's who they are. Who are you to harass them about who they are? Anyway, yeah, I'm quite pissed about this thing. Um, I, I felt the, the need to share these things because it, it, it really infuriates me. I'm, I'm trying to keep control because if I start talking about this topic, I can really get angry. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty much everything I have. I'm, I think I'm going to call this thing a vlog uh, and not, not write anything else. And those who want to see it, uh, will watch it and those who don't want to say it uh, bye bye people <laughs> anyway yeah this is pretty much everything about this topic and I will talk to you soon bye